coronavirus, signs, symptoms, and preparing. Okay, so if you clicked on this video, you already know by the title, this video is about the coronavirus. Yes, I do have on my mask. Um, I keep this mask in my car, in the side of my door. And I'm doing this video in my car right now on my lunch break. Um, so I'm coming to you guys. Let's talk about the coronavirus, what you can look for, the symptoms, how to protect yourself, how to protect you and your loved ones. Let's get into this video. I want to start off by showing this map. These are all the states that have someone infected with the coronavirus. It started off just being 102 and it's spreading rapidly. We have to control this. We have to control this. Let's get into this video. So first, uh, I just want to talk to you guys about the symptoms of coronavirus. So a fever is a symptom. A cough is also a symptom. And um, the third symptom is shortness of breath. So, like, just feeling like you can't really breathe, you can't catch your breath. Like, if you feel like you've been running but you haven't been running, that's an issue. You need to get to your nearest hospital as quick as possible to make sure that you are okay and that you're not spreading this to all of your friends and family and loved ones, okay? It's a lot similar to the flu, but it's not the flu. It's the coronavirus. Um, and the number one way to protect yourself from the coronavirus, and y'all, the number one way to protect yourself from any virus or any flu or any of that stuff is the same thing. And this is what I learned in school when I was at UNC Charlotte. Um, and, and I took a health class there because I... Hi. I took a health class there. Um, the number one thing is to wash your hands, y'all. You got to wash your hands. People come out the bathroom, they don't even wash their hands. They, I mean, I've seen this stuff like... I have a video on here right now. Um, it's like a story time on, on my YouTube where I was at Outback and I watched a lady. She pooped and she came out the bathroom and it was stinking in there. You could tell that she what she had already did and she smiled at me and walked out. She didn't even wash her hands. Like, it's gross. You got to wash your hands and you got to wash them correctly. When you wash your hands, you want to make sure that you wash all parts of your hands on both of the hands, okay? Um, I'm actually going to put up... A video or maybe I can put it inside of this video was what I'll do I wash my hands and I'll take myself um, and then I'll put it I'll input it in this video uh, about how you're supposed to wash your hands but y'all we got to be careful because this stuff is spreading I mean it's in like 15 different states at this point um, and it started out you know just being one place and it's spreading every day um, people are being quarantined and then some of these people that are being quarantined I've been reading this stuff and it comes to my phone from like ABC News and all the top news places They're not even staying in quarantine like one man decided he wanted to go to the store. Why you have coronavirus? Why would you want to go to the store and spread that to everyone? One guy went to a private event party knowing that he already had it so Everybody at that party probably has it, but people are dying from this you guys people are dying from this This is not like oh, I get the flu and I'm sick for a little bit mm -mm. People are losing their life because of this so we have to make sure that we wash our hands Tell your kids to wash their hands watch them wash their hands my daughter washed her hands the other day She came out the bathroom way too quick for me. I said did you wash your hands? Yes, mom I wash my hands. They're not even dry all the way first off That's a bad thing because they're saying that it's easier for you to get the coronavirus if you are not drying your hands completely So dry your hands completely first off and second off mm -mm, You have not washed your hands if you came out that quick not like you need to you're supposed to be scrubbing to get the germs off So make sure you stay on top of your your kids or whoever your spouse Whoever you need to stay on top of because if they get it guess what and you're around them You're probably gonna get it too. So protect Protect yourself, protect your friends and your family and everyone around you. Wash your hands. I've washed my hands so much, y'all. It's embarrassing. I'm going to show y'all just because. But if you look, my hands are so dry and ashy and cracked. It's because I've washed my hands so many times today at work. I don't care. Every couple minutes, I'm washing my hands. Sorry. Okay, so if you were to get the coronavirus, um, it can last as few as two days and it can last as long as 14 days, which is two weeks. Okay, um, they are scientists, doctors, news uh, broadcastings and all that. They're suggesting that you get two weeks worth of food for you and your family. Two weeks of non-perishable items, canned goods. I don't even eat canned goods, but if I'm, I mean, if I have to, okay, whatever. But canned goods, non-perishable things that you can eat, okay? They're also saying that you should get two weeks worth of medication. So if you're already on medication, if you take medication for high blood pressure, um, I don't know, 
headaches, whatever you take your medication for, go ahead and get your doctor to release you some more medication so you can have two weeks worth of it. That way you will have to go out if you were to get it, okay? And let's see, what else do you need? Two weeks worth of medicine. Oh, you also need two weeks worth of um, a pain reliever. Uh, they're suggesting ibuprofen, which I already have that at home. I don't. I have a whole bottle. And um, Harris Teeter has ibuprofen on sale. Buy one get one fifty percent off, or buy one get one free. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's buy one. Buy one get one. Buy one get one free. They had. That's how I got my ibuprofen. Okay, so you can try that. And a lot of the stores are capitalizing on this stuff. So they all have sales on the things that you're going to need. You want to make sure you have water. If you have a baby, make sure that you got wipes and diapers for two weeks. Because if something happens and you can't get out, you can't go nowhere, you in quarantine, you're still going to need to live inside of your little bubble. You're still going to need everything that you need. All right, so I just wanted to come to y'all, let y'all know, you know, everything that I know about this, the things that I've learned while I've researched. And um, I was going to do this video a lot sooner. But I wanted to make sure I had all the information correct and I had did my research before coming in front of y'all. Um, and so as far as the hand washing goes, I think I'm going to make a separate video for the hand washing actually. So what I'll do is um, just tell you. You want to make sure that you get up under your nails. You want to make sure that you get every part of your hands. You want to get between your fingers. You want to get up under your nail beds. You want to get everything. You can even do a little bit of your wrists. Okay. And I will do a video later today or tomorrow, um, sometime this weekend, because today's Friday. Um, sometime this weekend, I will do a video on proper hand washing, um, just because I did learn it at school. Um, in college, I did learn it. When I took my CNA class, which I'm not a CNA, long story, that'll be a story time. But I did graduate from that. Um, I learned it there. And I took my class at the hospital. I also learned it when I started working in child care system. And I also learned it with my college degree that I have in medical office administration. So I've learned how to wash my hands. If I don't know nothing else, I know how to wash my hands. And I am going to teach everybody else how to wash their hands properly too so they won't and, um, end up with this coronavirus. we got to take care of ourselves, protect ourselves. I love each and every one of you. And um, I want you to protect yourself. And thanks for watching this video. The virus causes respiratory illness like the flu with symptoms such as a cough, fever, and in more severe cases, pneumonia. So please protect yourself, your family, your friends, your neighbor, protect everyone. And as I get more details about the coronavirus or updates, I will make sure that I update you via YouTube. Thank you for watching this video and until next time, bye!